This is the Insta360 X3. And this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. And when you combine the two using this mount from Ulanzi and the new audio interface from Insta360, it looks like this. This is the audio from the Rode Wireless Go 2 attached to the Insta360 X3. And we've got the X3 in 360 mode at the moment, but it can shoot 4K in single lens mode, which is a great addition for vloggers. And because the X3 is a 360 camera, we can do cool tricks like this. Out here it's quite windy today, we've got gusts of about 25 miles an hour, so the wind guard is attached, so hopefully it's doing its job. I'll check this audio when we get back. The Wireless Go 2 has several recording modes accessible by pressing buttons on the receiver, and there are more options available in the Rode Central app. And one of the great things about using this setup for vlogging is the versatility. For me, the real advantage to shooting with a 360 camera is the way that they unlock your creativity. They enable you to think right outside the box because with a 360 camera, you can get shots that you would never think about getting with a conventional camera. The dual lenses on the X3 capture footage from over 180 degrees field of view. So when the two files are stitched together in the Insta360 app, we get a stitch line, which is basically anything above, below, or to the sides of the X3 that's narrower than the camera itself. And anything in this stitch line will be completely invisible. So that's how the invisible selfie stick works, because it's narrower than the X3 itself, so it doesn't show up in your finished video. Because the invisible selfie stick is narrower than the X3, all you need to do is hold it out in front of you and it will be completely invisible in the finished shot. And this enables you to get these kind of impossible fake drone shots. by simply extending the invisible selfie stick over the edge of a building or from a balcony. The receiver for the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the audio interface for the X3 are both narrower than the X3 itself and so they sit inside the stitch line and so they're completely invisible in your final shot. And this setup is absolutely perfect for motor vlogging because when mounted to the windscreen like this, you can use keyframes within the app to reposition the camera to get impossible shots like this. Editing your footage in the Insta360 app couldn't be simpler. Inside the app, you can use your fingers on the screen to zoom in or out or to move the full 360 degrees. And it's in the Insta360 app where you can program in your camera movement using keyframes. So the Rode Wireless Go 2 has a range of about 200 meters. It comes with two microphones as well as the receiver unit. So it's ideal for things like interviews. The mics from the Rode Wireless Go 2 come supplied with these wind guards and on the back, they've got these clips, so it can just clip onto whatever you're wearing like that. The Rode Wireless Go 2 could also record audio directly onto the receiver, so that if there's any problem with the connection to your camera, you've got a backup. The X3's form factor lends itself really well to vlogging. It's discreet enough so as not to draw attention, and it's small enough to fit inside your pocket when you're not using it. Even with the wireless go to's receiver attached, it's still a very small footprint. One, two, one, two.
The X3 shoots 360 video in 5.7K at up to 30 frames a second. It can also shoot 360 video in 4K at up to 60 frames a second. Now as well as 360 video, it can also use one of the two lenses to shoot in single lens mode at 4K. And in single lens mode, you still get that fantastic flow state stabilization. The X3 has a continuous record time of about 80 minutes. And those nice big half inch sensors give really nice quality in single lens mode at 4K. Now a great improvement on the X3 over the previous One X2 model is the haptic feedback. Every time you do something on the X3, you get a nice vibrate just to let you know that it's happening. The X3 can shoot in three different colour profiles, all accessible from within the app. There's standard mode, vivid mode, and there's even a log mode for colour grading. A colour grading in that log profile, you can go from this to this. Now the Insta360 app is honestly the easiest and most intuitive filmmaking app I've ever used. Every feature of the X3 is available inside the app and it works exactly the same on your phone as it does on your iPad. So here's a great example of being able to reframe the footage in the app when shooting the full 360 spectrum. So I'm walking along talking to you now and I've got the camera facing me. But all I need to do is add a few keyframes in the app to turn the camera around so that you can see what I'm looking at like this. So in conclusion, is this the perfect vlogging setup? For me personally, I think it is. The combination of the really high quality wireless audio, the ability to reframe the footage in post and select different aspect ratios for different media platforms means that this is absolutely perfect for what I want. But for me, it's all about the creativity. I think the creativity with this setup is absolutely second to none. The ability to get really unusual and impossible shots that you would normally never think about getting with a conventional camera is what really sells it to me. We've got a link in the description to all the products in this video where you can get them at the absolute best price and the fastest delivery. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. I'll be really happy to answer anything. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.